Next topic is IP spoofing. IP spoofing, similarly we have MAC spoofing, MAC address to spoof them. So IP spoofing basically replace untrusted source IP with a fake trusted one. And what they want to do, a taker want to hijack your network. And they use IP spoofing to send malware, botnet, viruses to your protected network. And they want to execute DOS and DDoS attack and to gain unauthorized access to your network. So they use the method IP spoofing. It's like suppose if you want to enter any building, maybe any organization building and you are not authorized and you make a fake ID card of that building or that employee and you use that one to inside and you enter to that building. So similarly, we have max spoofing IP spoofing. Now, Checkpoint Firewall has anti-spoofing. What they do, anti-spoofing detect if the packet is with IP address that is behind any certain interface. And it arrive from different interface, so they will block their traffic, which is enabled by default. What does it mean this one? In our topology, if you go to our topology, we have external 172.29.129 and we have internal 192.168.1. So if I try to spoof the IP and suppose I generate traffic from PC1 and I say my IP is 172.29.129 something suppose 10 and I want to reach to this one, even though in real world B, it will be from external but i just want to show you in the left from internal this attack so this every interface of checkpoint security gateway has enabled anti-spoofing so what they will do when it's arrived to this interface checkpoint will say no 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 this ip is assigned to our external interface and this internal interface belong to 192.168.1 and your source IP is 172.29 it means something is wrong and you are doing spoofing, IP spoofing so it will block their traffic so this is called anti-spoofing so we have the same lab, why not let's test them so the first thing is we need to go to our security gateway and we need to go to a network management and click on each interface and we need to enable anti-spoofing however which is enabled by default let's verify so if i go to gateway and server and we double click our security gateway and let's see that is enable or not network management and we have these interfaces let's go to external interface and we modify this one and let's go down so there is anti-spoofing enable perform anti-spoofing based on the interface topology and they say prevent them prevent it will block them detect it will just generate logs and also spoof tracking enable the logs it will show you the logs and if you want to enable alert you can do that one and you can disable the logs there is none as well it means it's enabled by default. Let's check another interface. So we don't need to go inside as mentioned here as well. Anti-spoofing, prevent and log. Similarly, the DMZ one, if it is not, you need to enable this feature in all interfaces. Prevent and logs. So we are done with this part. It means it's enabled on all interfaces by default. Now let's test. What we will do from PC1, which actual IP is 1.10 and we will spoof them with the external interface range IP and we will say my IP is 172.29.129.10 which is wrong my actual IP is 1.10 and let's see what they will block this traffic or not so let's go to PC1 and here I will type hping is the utility if it is not installed you can install apt install hping3 Dash 1 means ICMP flood to flood them and spoof the IP 
I keep the external range IP and here is the destination IP which I am going to target this one and I want to represent myself as a 172.29.129.10 to this user and click enter. So I flood with ICMP and I spoof my IP. Now to verify what we need to do, we need to go to logs and monitor and I need to type without anything address spoofing. So it will show us the logs related to address spoofing. So let's go to logs and monitor and see it is block or not this traffic. Okay, so this traffic can come from outside, but we generate from inside. Okay, and let me paste that one address spoofing and enter. So I filter with address spoofing and let's see there is any traffic. Okay, if there is any traffic generated related to this one. And here is a lot of traffic is from 172.29.129.10 which we make them as a source IP and we are going here and the destination and is drop and the reason is address spoofing it say is address spoofing message information and the traffic is, is ICMP the destination is the outside but the main thing which we want to verify is the address spoofing Similarly, let's test another one and the target is still generating. Let me stop them. We don't need any more just to verify. So we have address spoofing again. And here is a huge traffic which is generated related to this one on each interface is enabled. So that's why is block them and then we verify. Okay, test and verify. So this is lab related to NT spoofing. Okay, which is enabled by default in checkpoint firewall.